catches up. But now we got Elegant versus Nitro on stream for losers. Semis. No, quarters. No, quarters, quarters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. quarters. That's the last one. Yep. This is. Can you believe it? These people are playing for fifth place. Yeah, this is crazy considering. Uh, Ketchup had a crazy good run. Dom had uh, TT Dom had a crazy good run as well. Right. And so both these guys got knocked out. I know Elegant uh, got knocked out to losers by Dom. I don't know who knocked out Nitro. I mean uh, Ketchup. Okay, right. so both of them actually just lost to both players in winners final. Right. So yet again, I mean, here's the thing about uh, uh, the the Belmont pick is that you know Elegant lost to T3 in winners. So I feel like that's why we're seeing the, the Belmont now, and that's why we see the Mario come out from Elgin too. Yeah, um, I feel like it's kind of weird because like I, I feel like uh, Luigi like Luigi might be okay because like he can just get one getting in once, and he's just get a lot of uh, a lot of free damage from that. I guess Mario he just wants to get in like a lot more neutral openings, right? right? So that way, if he gets one, he gets more neutral openings that way, and then you can, you can just push it a little bit harder. So I guess that's the uh, thought process. I mean, definitely the other thing about Luigi is that his game plan is like, I'm going to try to grab you, or I'm yeah. going to try to zare into whatever. And that's the same spacing of Richter for Fair and Bear. So, yeah. you know, Luigi's not going to be able to get his grabs and start off with the same combos. Yeah, that's fair. Richter is absurdly long range. I love that. No, just throwing out the cross and they'll cover your your recovery to ledge right It's actually super good. Like Dom does that a lot too. When I play I play him a lot too. Oh the fourth smash! Good catch. But yeah, going back to it. Uh, yeah. It's like he covers the cross a lot, but it's like, oh, either you take this to Emerson Shield or I get back to ledge for free. Right. It's one of those things where like I feel like most people do not throw out the cross enough when they're trying to get back to free. Yeah, just in general, the Belmont's like, I feel like they're using the cross as a, could be a little bit better, especially when I see, when we see players like Nitro and T3 Dom, their uses of cross is so good, and like it helps cover them and do, um, do so many more things with it. And yet again, you know, you see Elegant trying to reflect the cross, trying to put it into his favor, but you know what, you also gotta uh, understand that if you're devoting time to dealing with the cross, you know, you have the other player coming at you from the other side, you know, and it's just being sandwiched between two places. Yeah, it's like it's a rock and a hard place, literally. It's like either you take the points with the cross, you get knocked up, and then maybe you get comboed into up air, or you just you get hit for free with um, anything to go on to you. Right. There you go. There's the axe and the grab, you know. And you, you saw Elegant, though, he's trying to reflect it, but I feel like when you're playing a character with a reflector, unless you're like Fox or Wolf who can like act out of it like pretty immediately, you know, it's not really worth going for it like most of the time unless it's its cross. Yeah, it feels like it's a too, too much of a high commit. So it's like he's kind of just losing a lot of stage control when he's trying to commit to it. There we go, Jab just to catch him in. Oh my god, he get up attacked and that could have ended off horribly because of the extending the hurt box. Yeah, especially since he was right next to the ledge too. Like I 100% would have been the kill. Uh, just getting a quick dash attack, throwing him onto the legend. You know what? It's so hard when you're when you're in that position where a Belmont can be like, I can throw a cross, I can throw out a fair. But yeah, again, he, just catching the jump from ledge right there. All the way down here. Oh! Yeah. Off of the platform? Oh my god. That was sick. I mean, you'll see a lot of Belmonts just go for down air off. A, a up, yeah. yeah, a beat, but like. There are some times where, like, if you get that hard spike like that, you have to wait a little bit and don't go for the up air instead, or go for the fair even if they're like super di away. Yeah, and so up you might not kill sometimes. Yeah. As whereas, like, if you get like the up air hit, it's probably going to kill in that scenario. All right. So. Uh, but the trade off is that up air has a tiny hitbox. Yeah, like, it's, it's very. Small. It's, a, it's a very thin hitbox. Like, distance wise, it, it covers a lot of range, but like, it's literally like, the size of that chip, yes. like the whip. But we see Elegant going back to Luigi here right in favor of just like his normal game plan. I feel like he, when he tried out the Mario, he's like, oh, I'm going to try to use the cape as a reflector. It didn't really quite work out, so he's, trying, he's going back to his Luigi to see what uh, he's going to do there. And you know what, that's kind of the game plans. I know Luigi kind of like struggles to approach, so he's going to throw out fireballs. But the problem with throwing out fireballs in rapid succession like that is that the Belmont's going to jump over and then do a down angle uh, bear or bear, and then they just kind of beat you out for throwing out the fireballs. Or even just trade with Cross as you were seeing earlier. Like they just kind of just trade over and over again to keep Luigi out anyway. All right. And you just see that down angle bear is just screwing up everything that Elegant's trying to go for in neutral. Oh, the Cyclone sucked him in. All the fireball cancels. Up he gets some more, more damage. Yeah, so this is this is like kind of the matchup we see where it's like Luigi has a hard time getting it, but getting in, he's just gonna get that all that damage he can. He's gonna need to get it and just 
cash in for what it's worth. And yet again, that high side B, not going to be worth it. He gets eaten up by that forward smash right there. Yeah, good money from that. Just uh, ending that spot there. Oh! Good Ooh. tech. Yes. Definitely life-saving tech right there. Yeah. We all know Goldmon's recovery. If he didn't tech that, he was actually dead. I mean, I don't think any recovery would have been that, but you know what? Excellent DI on the down B right there. Manages to live for at 150%. Again? Yeah, at that oh, it point, failed, yeah. yeah. But, Hold the plunger. All the fairs. I'll take it. And again, that's how you need to edge guard Belmont. That, you know, they're with it does have like a suction like that it needs to like kind of do in order to like pull themselves in so if you throw out a hitbox in between them and the stage especially if it's like a long lasting hitbox or something that like you can follow them with you know belmont's gonna struggle to recover yeah for sure their, their, their recovery is pretty decent but it's definitely exploitable and that's that's where the weakness is right but at the same time, it's kind of a trade-off, right? If you miss that, you kind of lose stage control, and they can just get back or free. And if you don't, if you don't get back in time, then you're, you're kind of in the reverse situation, right? Which is kind of, you know. And again, going for a bear just to throw him off. But you know what? Now we're back to the whole like I'm throwing out aerials, and you can't really approach. But you know what? Not going to be enough. Great, yeah. excellent DI. Yeah, 109 probably not going to kill him unless he has like a pretty bad DI. Okay. And you know, like using that cross to cover his recovery back to stage. Yeah, we've been seeing it time and time again. It's doing such wonderful things for Nitro here, especially when he's trying to get back. And because of that, I actually got to be able to take the stock there. So, super good. Oh, what? that was cute. That was cute. I've never it, seen that before. It probably only worked because he knew Elegant would down me right there. And he had to get too low to the stage. Not going to kill. That one will. Yeah, not the effort. He DI'd in there instead of uh, getting down and away. Right. Down and away is definitely the way you DI that, but uh, I guess he was. I guess it's yeah, he, he thought he was going the other way, yeah. probably, yeah. It's one of those things where like you want a hard DI one way and then like, go the other way before the last step. Yep. And again, just all this pressure from Nitro, you know, and you can see that Elegant struggling to approach, and you know, all he can really do is just throw up shield. Oh, missed the tech, gets the E to down here for he's off stage, ledge trap situation. Got the yes. jump, yep. And that's the kind of like scary thing is that the Belmont always have that option. Oh my oh, god, just barely not gonna be able to confirm a little bit too high percent. And again, Elgin was looking for the roll backwards, but the down air, upbeat, not gonna no. be enough. Yep. He was touching that blast though, just barely not even there. Yeah. More axes, more holy water. Right. And that's All it. Oh, that's the Yep, for it, bro. Yep. And you know what? That's the, the scary thing. Oh. Right. right. This is order, so it's best two out of three. Yep. Oh, so, the my so God. The SoCal special. Yep. Best of five, only semis. All yep. semis. All semis, yeah. Which is still kind of like a weird concept, you know? Like, you go from winner semis.